Welcome back. In this video, we should be able to get the score working and perhaps we'll get the U win as well. So let's create um, two things at the start here. One of them is, well, both of them are text elements. So if again, I click on the plus, you'll notice that there's UI and then there is text. Now, if you want fancier text, there's TextMex Pro, Text Mesh Pro. We're just going to go with regular text here and I'm going to create one. Uh, it's taking a second. And so this brings up this thing called a canvas. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. And we'll call one the score text. And we'll create another one. Okay. So I'm going to go plus and UI text. And we will call this the win text. Now, a little bit about canvas here. Uh, if I zoom way out, you can see that there's new text there, and I think they're both sitting on top of each other at the moment. So there's two of them. Uh, one is there, the other is there. There seems about, I can pull that over, and you can see there's new text, new text. Now that he is right here. This is what I call sort of the placeholder text. Um, it's not necessarily seen in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna put, just so we know, this is score text. And the other one is the win text. Okay, and then that way we know which is which when we're looking at it here. Now, one of the big issues you have with computers, um, especially, is that they are, screens are all different size. And so we can have some variation. Now, it's, it's actually sitting right down here at the moment. But if I have a different screen, um, having it like at different pixels can really wreak havoc when you play it in a different window. It might not be where you want it to be. So that's why we have this little section here. If I click on it, you can set the sort of the, the anchor point. And so no matter, for example, no matter what screen you're in, you might want to anchor it to the top left. Whatever the top left is of that screen, it's going to be anchored to the top left. And that's what I'm going to do with the score text. So I believe if I hold the shift, and the alt it will and then click this top left it will anchor it to the top left of your screen i'm going to pull it away from that a little bit so i'm going to move it over a little bit and i'm going to move it down a little bit okay and um you know i might just like make that nicer 15 15 perfect size kind of like you know microsoft word here we can make the size bigger so we can see one thing I will show you now, actually, it looks like they've changed. <laughs> they've done better here. They've changed the thing. Um, it will wrap or truncate. Uh, so let's just see if I make this text longer. Okay. Now notice how it's disappeared here. Okay. What's happened is that it's been truncated. If you want, you can overflow just so you can do that. So it, it depending on you, you might want it to overflow this way. Why it's overflowing. Um, is there is a box let me just sort of zoom in on this F. there we are um, there's a box here that defines it so that's the width and the height okay you can change that box if you want to um, and then it will allow it what, whatever the case is okay the win text uh, we will have it sort of sitting in the middle so again i'm going to do this i'm going to go shift and alt and plop it into the middle um, again, it's a little small. What I sometimes do with that is I center and center, probably 24. If you want um, as well, and you might want to overflow, overflow just in case, um, the color, where have they placed the color? Color, color, color. This might be it right here. No. Oh, right here, shader. Hmm. They've changed this a little bit on me here. Uh, we'll look at it uh, later. We'll just leave it with the default at the moment. And if I know, oh, there it is, color. So it's sort of this gray at the moment. So you might want to go for something more white on this one, whatever the case is. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we've got the text there. Now, obviously this text is not doing anything. Okay, if I play the game, win text is going to be there score text as to is going to be there we don't want that we have to sort of 
adjust that text um, in our script. So let's go over to our script and we'll just focus on the score text first and see if we've got enough time also to do the um, win text. Well, if we're going to have a score, the idea is that as we uh, hit each one, we gain a point. So we're going to create a variable and we'll make it, uh, well, we'll keep it all public just so we can see it all. Int and we'll call it score. Okay. We also have to access the text. So there is a text. Oops. I did that. Maybe it's lowercase. Uh, yes, I'm missing something. So again, Unity is helping us out better than it used to. What I forgot is at the top, just like we had to do, you know, using, we had to import something in Python. I have to do Unity Engine dot UI. I have to be able to access the user interface system. I bet you now there it is. So I can do the text one. That's what I want. And I'm going to call one the win text and the other one mm -hmm, public text score text unity is making it more and more difficult to make mistakes that is a good thing all right um so we've created stuff for that there now the score what we have to do is at the start of the game we should set a value for the score and if we're starting the game a good value would be that's right zero okay if you want to cheat and give yourself 10 to start with go ahead but i'm going to set it to zero okay now when are we going to get a point well we're going to get a point when we score right so we're going to set that uh, when we pick something up we're going to other object set it to false well let's add one to our score score is equal to whatever the score was plus one okay now, if we went back and played this, which we will, do, 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 do. Um, it will play like we expected. Okay, so the objects will pick up. Okay, we should be able to pick them up. Um, if I click on my player and come down here, we can see that the score has gone up. Uh, whoops. Sorry, let me do that again. Marble. Click in here. We can see the score is, <laughs> we can see the score is one. And if I go into here, score is two. So the score is working, but the score text isn't changing, right? Um, and we still have this win text up here. Oh my gosh, I'm missing them all. Okay, there we go. So the game's playing properly, right? We're getting, we're up to four there, if you can see that. So, we just have to update this score text. Now, I could do it one of two ways, and I'm going to do it a bit of a different way here because um, it's sort of sort of preferable. I'll explain why I'm doing it once we do it. We're going to create our own function. So I'm going to call it private um, void, and I'm going to call it set score text. And what this is going to do is it's going to update the score text. So to update the score text, we basically take score text dot text. So it takes the text box of the score text element, and it's going to set that to, and we'll write in score, maybe with a colon and a space. And then we're going to add on the score. Now there is a little bit of an issue because the score is an integer and it's suggesting it already, we are going to turn it into a string. So it's just like text. And we just have to do that. And there we go. Now, when we, when we want to run this after every time we update the score. So once the score has gone up by one, that would be a good time to set the score text. Okay, don't do it before because you want to see your updated score there, right? So we make it set to false, we add one to the score, then we kind of print out or display the score. Makes sense. So let's go and see if this works. Go back to Unity. Hit 
play. Now it's a bit disappointing that it still says score text up there, right? With that, it doesn't say zero. It should be zero. So we got to fix that. But as I go into one of these, okay, now the game crashed. And I've learned that, that this is, that's a good thing. And what it did say on that error, and I didn't pop it up, um, but it said null references, object not set. What did I forget? I forgot that here, win text and score text, it doesn't know which text to update. So we simply have to drag score text into score text, win text into win text, and try again. We still have the problem where the text isn't updated, okay? It would be nice, like I said, if it said score equals zero. But let's hit one of these. And now look at, ooh, score is one, score is two, score is three. So that seems to be working. Why doesn't it work at the start? Well, this text is the default text until it's told to display something different. And so the only time it's told to display something different is after you've scored. But of course, at the beginning of the game, you haven't scored yet. So what makes most logical sense is once I've set the score to zero, what should I do? Well, I should set the score text. So just by doing that, going back to Unity, hit play. What should happen now is that after this starts, right, it will display zero. Now you don't have to worry in your real game, the player would never see before the start of the game. So this is what they'll see at the start. They'll see score equals zero or score is zero. And then as you collect, it goes up. Perfect. Okay, we're going to run out of time on this video. But what we'll do next is get rid of this win text and actually get it to display a win once you've won the game. So I'm going to say it's save here, control S, we'll save it as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next video.